Now I am the voice. I will lead, not follow. I will believe, not doubt. I will create, not destroy. I'm a force for good. I'm a leader. Defy the odds, set a new standard, and step up. Hey, welcome back to the Marketing Muscle Up podcast show. I'm Richard Eternji. And in today's episode, I want to talk all about what I learned from Tony Robbins, Anthony Robbins, who has been seen him, um, who finds him interesting, his content and his work. I'd love to know. Just uh, hit me up on my Instagram, Richard Eternji, and let me know what you think about that. Now, if this is your first time listening, I'm really excited that you're here. If it's... um, If you're a regular listening, thank you for jumping on every time. You may have heard my story. I purchased a fitness studio at 17 and a half years old. I um, asked my parents for to take a home loan, take equity out of their house. They were super scared at the time to do so, but they gave me a little bit of money to do so. I went in business with a business partnership. Um, That didn't work out, but what did work out was the growth of my business. And I had no idea what I was doing. Uh, It was a bit of hard work. Um, An A-frame sign, I bought an A-frame sign. And to be honest with you, I had hope marketing. I had no idea what I was doing. Um, I spent all my time at the studio, morning, night. I slept there a few uh, mini nights, you could say. And uh, I sold that, eventually sold that, worked on cruise ships, started a corporate wellness health business, which I might talk about a bit later. And um, I now spend all my time helping other fitness, wellness, studios, gyms, leisure centers to use digital marketing and become their own version of their marketing ninja because I didn't have money to hire an agency. And uh, when I did, they never worked out for me. And so that's my backstory. And every episode, I want, I want to kind of dissect uh, what you can do to grow your business. Um, and today's topic is what I learned from um, the great man, Tony Robbins. And when I say the great man, I think he's impacted a lot of people millions and millions of people over time. And if you haven't heard from him, heard him, um, I'm sure you can just Google him. You can find a lot of stuff about him. Now, I first came across him when I was working on a cruise liner. I was around 20 at the time. I was working in the Caribbean. And um, the the other personal trainer I was working with, um, he gave me this book, Tony Robbins. And he said, hey, this guy's going to help you to um, you know, be better. I said, okay, great. I dissected the book, read it really fast. And in fact, um, true story, um, I used to bite my nails quite a lot. I read a part, I think the NLP part, first time I've ever heard about that. And, um, you know, pretty much I didn't bite my nails after that for a very, very long time. And it was just amazing the way that we can change our mind to do the activities we want to do. And, and I, and I, I want to keep this episode relatively short because the biggest lesson I learned of Tony Robbins over the time, and we've um, myself and Joey have been to um, multiple live events, um, date with destiny, I think in the gold coast um, and his two day event, I forget the name of that one. Um, and there was one, you know, thing that really stood out, of how you can change your mind straight away. And I want to share that with you right now. Um, there was an activity um, that was used and um, the activity was a lot of affirmations. And um, you know what affirmations are? Affirmations are when you say one thing over and over and over again, and you have a re-belief. And I'm pretty sure this is the date of destiny. That was the date with destiny. That was the week long retreat talks about mail and, feminine energy and um, how, how do you just not think about motivation, but how do you make it a lifelong habit? And uh, there was a quote that we all had to work out. If you've ever been to that, you would have heard the quote. And this is the quote. I hadn't used it for many, many years, but I literally just printed it out the other day because I thought it can really help uh, me to, you know, develop a better mind and, and have a more of a growth mind. And, and the affirmation that he made us say um, probably for a good half a day, over and over and over and over and over and ahead was something that stuck for me many, many years without me even reading it, without me even thinking about it. It was just always there. And it wasn't until the other day, um, maybe think about it and I printed it out. And when I printed it out, I just kind of put it around. I put one in my bathroom, actually, one in my office. And you may have heard this. It says, now I am the voice. I will lead, not follow. I will believe, not doubt. I will create, not destroy. 
I'm a force for good. I'm a leader. Defy the odds, set a new standard and step up. And the word step up, um, you know, step up was repeated many, 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 many times, hundreds of times, walking, um, chanting, step up, step up, step up, step up. And at the time I thought, oh, here we go, here we go. And you've probably seen it. Oh, the Anthony Robbins, um, you know, cult, people say. But in the end of the day, it was really interesting because that has stayed in my mind for so long. And it really adjusts what I think. I create a lot of different affirmations over the years. I remember one of them when I was um, running, you know, marathons and I was really exhausted. I said, uh, my, leg is, my legs are strong, my mind is sharp. My legs are strong, my mind is sharp. And every time I thought about being weak, I'll go to my legs. And I said, my legs are strong and I go to my head. So I kept running. And so, so, so it's amazing what you can do with affirmations. It's amazing when applied correctly over and over again, they really can reshape how you do what you do. And they're pretty easy to create. They really are. Um, you know, Tony Robbins taught us how to do it. And it's really just that simple. It's like creating a, an affirmation, a verse, a phrase, and repeating it over and over and over and over and over and over and ahead in a state of um, excitement, in a state of um, certainty. You know, when you're repeating these statements in a state of like uh, dream and gloom and dream, it doesn't really um, trigger in your mind. But when you're repeating the state on a high, when you're repeating the state, when you're excited, it really triggers in. Now, I don't know the, uh, the scientific proof of this and uh, the psychology of this. I just know that it works. So if you haven't yet tried it, um, you can Google Tony Robbins affirmations or now I am the voice I will lead, not follow. And you can just print it out. There's heaps of people that have it there. That's what I did. And again, the biggest lesson I've learned here is repetition. You've got to repeat the same things that work for you. A lot of time in our fitness business, we do one thing and we don't do it again because we tried it once, it worked or it didn't work. And we don't want to do it again. We want to find something else. And so what's happening now in the marketing landscape is there is a lot of uh, vulnerability at the moment. You know, there's talks of recessions. There's talks of things are different. Yeah, they are. They are. Every day they're different. Every year they're different. And uh, it's going to be an interesting time, sure. But it's going to be a more interesting time for your business if you haven't got your own affirmation, if you haven't suited up and getting ready to win every day, if you don't have a growth mindset to win every day. So, you know, this episode is not particularly about a marketing skill, but it's probably the most important skill. It's about a mindset skill. And without the right mindset, uh, you won't be able to push the marketing forward. Without the right mindset, you certainly won't be able to grow your business. And it's really important to do that, especially in this time right now where the market is not the same as it was, where it's easy to say, yep, I'm going to make it happen. It's not like it was before, but it's certainly out there. And there's certainly a growth to be made at the moment because a lot of people that are waiting don't be one of those people. So um, let's talk about the best Tony Robbins books to read. Well, there's a whole bunch of them. Um, I've got a few here. Unlimited Power is probably my personal favorite. I'm um, just looking here. I've got a few books here. But Unlimited Power is probably the personal favorite. If you haven't, haven't um, read that, read that. Uh, which book is it for you? Um, just trying to think of his other book names. Unlimited Power, um, probably the classic, I would say. I always love the classic books, you know, um, because I just find they I just find that the book, the best, um, it comes in different colors. But I, I would say jump onto that if you haven't already, or really just, um, He's got a movie, I think, too, uh, on Netflix. I'm Not Your Guru. That's a great movie. That's all about Date With Destiny. And, um, you know, jump onto that. He's always around. And uh, I think he's an amazing human being that has changed a lot of lives. And um, that's one of my secrets to success is um, having early mentors that you can really um, look up to and, um, and, and, and get your mind laser sharp because that's exactly what you're going to need right now. So if you don't have that, um, jump onto a mentor, jump onto a coach, um, read a book, do a podcast. Um, we've got heaps of podcasts that you can jump into and um, 
that is a really great way for your growth. So team, if you do want a mentor and you do want some direction in your business in marketing, sales, um, what I'd recommend is, is jump onto our show sponsor, Com Marketing. That's our company. And um, we're going to show you how to grow your business and love your life. Love your life because if you don't love your business, um, you're going to hate your life. If you hate your life, you're going to hate your business. Um, just go to our website, commarketing, commarketing.com.au and book what we call in a marketing muscle-up call. It will be 15 minutes and it will literally change the shape of your business. We'll ask you some questions about um, where you want to get to and we'll show you some things that are not working. So some things digitally that are not working, we'll pinpoint to that and so show you some amazing opportunities that you have at the moment to grow your fitness, wellness, um, business, whatever that may be, a leisure center or a gym, a personal training. Uh, we work with everybody, even a fitness supplier. I look forward to speaking to you there, guys. Hope you've enjoyed this episode. Um, go and step up and set up a new standard. Thanks, guys. I'll catch you next time on the Marketing Muscle Up podcast show.